Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about how you create retargeting audiences in AdWords. If this is the first time you're interacting with Ad Skills, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and I'm excited you're joining our community. So, in this video, we're talking about how we build retargeting audiences in AdWords. So, when we talk about retargeting audiences in AdWords, this is kind of what they consume of. So, we can build lists of people who've been to our site, watched a YouTube video of ours, either organically or as an ad, used our app, or given us their email address, now they're a part of our customer list. Now one caveat here, I think something that's kind of confusing for people is with the customer list, you can only use those to advertise on Google search or on YouTube. Unfortunately right now we're not able to leverage that on the display network. I hope that changes, but that's the facts as of today. So how do retargeting lists make our lives easier? Well, they allow us to get back in front of people who engage with our brand or bought from us before. They allow us to sell more stuff or get people to convert for the first time and we're able to do it all at lower CPAs. So it's really everything we've ever been looking for. Now, what do you need to actually build them? Well, you have to have a Google AdWords account and have your pixel installed on the site. Uh, I've got another video on how to install it on the site, so make sure you check out the YouTube card right now. And then you have to go through and have audiences that you wanna create. So remarketing from the web or from YouTube, customer lists, apps, etc. So the process to actually set this up is pretty simple. Head into AdWords, go to the new audience manager, and we're gonna create a new audience. So let's head over to AdWords and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're here in our AdWords example account and when you come in, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your wrench here in the upper right hand corner and you go to Audience Manager. And you can see here, there's, there's three things. These are automatically created lists that start going right away. Um, I honestly don't use these very often because I really wanna make sure that we have got um, our own custom lists that we understand what they are and they're important to us. AdWords creates them. It's supposed to be a nice feature. They, I've never seen them work very well. That's why I just kind of ignore them. So we'll create on the plus. Uh, we'll go in here. You can do website visitors. So you can come in and do visitors of a page, visitors who visit a page and also visit another page, who visit a page and did not visit another page, uh, dates, tags, etc. So the ones you're probably going to care about most are visitors of a page. So I would say think these are your converters, people who visit a thank you page people who visited a page but did not visit another page. So for me, this is called a burn audience. So it's if they visited any page on our site with a slash, which would be any page at all, but did not visit our thank you page, that's an audience we wanna get back in front of. So what I typically do is go through and make a list of all the different audiences I think I'm gonna want, build them before we start campaigns. They're buckets that are just filling as we're running traffic. Um, come in here, you can do include for the past 30 days, 30 days, etc. So that's how you do the web audience stuff. Very simple and straightforward. You're smart, I'll let you figure that out. So the other one that's really cool is creating YouTube lists. So what you have to do first is make sure that your, your YouTube channel is linked. And then what you have the ability to do is go through and create lists of people who viewed any video from your channel, certain videos, viewed any video as an ad, viewed certain videos as an ad, subscribed, visited, liked, commented, etc. Really cool, very detailed information that if you have any type of presence on YouTube, you absolutely want to make sure you go through and get these set up. They're absolutely incredible as what you're able to accomplish from what I call YouTube sequencing. If you want to learn more about that, check out our Bulletproof YouTube Ads course. Um, initial size list, so you can include people from the past 120 days to start, and then you, you can determine how long you want to keep them. 540 days is the longest you can keep them. So tons of awesome information. If you want to upload customer lists, you can come here and do that. App users, you can uh, if your app is linked, you can come through and create those. And then custom combinations, so you can go through and basically have, um, basically this is saying, here are the different uh, audiences we created with with our website. We want to go, now go through and either combine them together, separate them apart, those types of things. So some really awesome ways to go through and do this. The biggest thing you need to do first is go through and map out what do we want to have for retargeting audiences. And that's something that really takes a planning process of figuring out how is the business set up, what do we care about, what do we want to exclude, what we want to include going through and mapping that out, and then coming here and building those lists. So really awesome information. Once you get them set up, you can also come look at the audience insights to figure out ways to target more affinity and in-market people. I'll add a card to this video as well so you can see how we do that in AdWords. Really amazing information. So if you're not already leveraging this, please make sure you come in and do this. It will make a huge difference to setting up your retargeting campaigns and scaling your stuff in the future. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads pathway. It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. 
If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much, and have an awesome day.